Hey everyone, so jumping right in, I'm starting off with freshly washed and deep conditioned hair that was air dried in four braids and my roots were also stretched. I'm going to begin by sectioning my hair into four sections, two in the front and two across the back. I like to do my sections like this when I do braid styles because I typically don't complete them in one go. So when I begin braiding, I start at the front and then I do the very back. So in case I have to go somewhere, I can just put it up in a bun and no one can tell it's unfinished. So these are what my sections are looking like. And this is the hair I'll be using to achieve my spring twist style. It's from a company called Beyond Beauty and this is their spring twist hair in the color one. In the package, you receive three packs of hair with 30 pieces of hair per pack. They also give you a card with their info and instructions, two sectioning clips, and some cute gold and silver hair jewelry. For styling products, I'll be using my Curls Blueberry Bliss Twist and Shout Cream and their Curl Control Paste. I bought these with my own money, by the way. So this is what the hair looks like. It's super springy and it gets super long when stretched. I use one piece for two twists, so I split the piece of hair in two and it separates fairly easily. Just separate the ends first a bit, then separate the middle, then pull from there. So I'm going to try to show you how I install it on this piece of hair in the front. I'm applying a small amount of the styling cream and then a little bit of the paste on top just to smooth the section. And I make sure to pull my baby hairs out of the section because I'm not trying to be edgeless. Yeah girls, that no look good. So then I'm going to go ahead and split that section in two. And I'm going to take a piece of the hair and kind of fold it to make sure the two ends are even and place the center of the spring twist hair onto the part I created. So each section of hair is a section of my hair and a piece of the spring twist hair. So then I'm going to begin twisting one section to the right and when I've twisted it down to about an inch, I'm just going to do the same thing to the other section. So both sections are being twisted to the right. Then I'm going to take the right section over the left and begin twisting down the length of my hair. And I'm just doing a regular two strand twist, but I'm making sure that the right piece goes over the left piece. And I'll explain to you why in a second. Keep in mind that I'm no professional, but I'm trying my best to explain it as clearly as I can. Because one thing I found was weird is when I tried to twist it the other way, which was like left over right, the twist did not look nice. Like, I actually did a few of them like that before I figured out what direction to twist looked best. I wish I had shown a comparison because I left some of them like that because I was too lazy to undo them. And I'm talking to Damien here, I'm sorry. But each twist took me about like two minutes and it took me two days to complete the style but only because I was packing for a cross-country move so I would take breaks often to pack. When I get close to the end, I add some more of that twist and shout cream to help smooth the ends, twirl it around my finger and clip off the straggly ends so that they can look nice. And it looks like I'm done, but I'm really not. <laughs> I have that whole middle section left to do, so let me get to it. Okay, so I totally forgot to come back and show you guys what it looked like when I was done. So this was a couple of days later and I have been wearing up in this cute bun. I like the kind of kinky, messy look the twists have. It's kind of cute. What do you guys think? Here I'm just showing you its stretch to show you how long the twists really are and how springy it is. If I'm honest, I'm probably going to wear it up in about 99.9% .9 of the time. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it with a friend. One love. Bye guys.